I'm Dr. Rose. What brings you into your visit today? So I'm really active. I do a lot of activities outside. I'm a runner um, and I do yoga as well and I dance and just hair is annoying. I have a lot of hair to the point where I have a five o'clock shadow. I feel like I shave in the morning and by the time I get home in the evening, I am blue and I just hate it. It's really annoying. I've tried waxing, I've tried epilation, super painful. I got a lot of ingrowns and right now I'm just shaving and it leaves me with nicks and cuts and it's just painful and annoying. What can I do? So if waxing and shaving doesn't work for you, have you ever considered laser hair removal? Well, laser, that kind of sounds scary and painful. Does it, does it hurt? Well, we do have laser hair removal here at Rose Dermatology, and the good news is it doesn't hurt, it's pain-free. But it's summertime, I'm gonna be outside a lot in the sun. Uh, is laser hair removal gonna stop me from doing what I need to do outside? The nice thing about this laser is that you can use it on tan skin. You just have to be careful after the laser hair removal procedure, just for the first few days that you don't get a sunburn. So I have a lot of ingrown hairs. Is the laser hair removal gonna help with those? So I can do an evaluation of ingrown hairs and extract any that I see. Uh, I'd like you to strongly consider laser hair removal, especially for ingrown hairs, because any type of epilation, especially waxing, can leave it so that the hair is left to grow underneath the skin, and that causes the ingrown hairs. So especially for ingrown hairs, laser hair removal is a great solution. Does laser hair removal help with scarring? Unfortunately, if you have scarring from ingrown hairs, this laser is not going to help that particular issue. We have other solutions for scars. So I find that when I'm working out and I sweat, it makes me break out in acne, usually my chest and my back. What can I do about that? If you're noticing that you're breaking out a lot, we do have some interventions that can help you. A quick chemical peel can dry out the acne pretty quickly um, and exfoliate the topmost layer of skin. And we also have silk peel dermal infusions and those clear out the comedones and the blackheads. Um, pretty much with no downtime, you are red carpet ready and your skin is prepped to look its best. Can I still do that if I go on vacation? So if you're going on vacation, then it's best to go with a silk peel because the chemical peel will, will um, sometimes make you peel a little bit. So then we need to stick to our silk peel dermal infusions. I'm having some problems with some rough skin as well, usually elbows and knees when I'm doing a lot of yoga and like plank poses and I started lifting and I'm noticing my hands are getting really rough. What can I do about that? So this is a common problem with our weightlifters and people who are very active. It's just from lifting weights and the friction of uh, lifting weights and doing exercises on your elbows and knees. Usually I recommend exfoliative creams for this issue. The callus is not gonna go away completely. In fact, it actually might be dangerous to try to get rid of the callus. You need the callus. You're using it every day, you're working out, it's there to protect your skin. So really what we're aiming for is just to kind of lessen it a little bit so it's not annoying and it's still there to protect you when you need it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Rose, you're the best.